We have this uh, problem that we're starting off with, and, and they tell us that the probability that a woman in this age group has breast cancer is 0.008. Okay, so we know that. We know that if a woman has breast cancer, she'll test positive 90% of the time using this test. They also tell us if they don't have breast cancer, that they would get a positive 0.07, or 7% of the time. So this would be a false positive, a female that doesn't have it but tests positive. So not that big of a deal. Now the question that they ask us is, if a woman tests positive, what's the probability that she actually has breast cancer? If you'll notice, it's the opposite of what this question is asking. So we want to uh, reverse the condition. So we want to figure this part out. Okay, so let's think about how we could solve this problem. And let's start by making a tree diagram. So when we start with the tree diagram, you want to start off with the thing that's the most basic. Understand, these two probabilities are conditional. They give us one probability that's not conditional, whether a woman has breast cancer or not. And that's what we want to start off with, the ones that's not conditional. Okay. So we start off, you either have it or you don't. Okay. And we know that they, or they tell us that 0.008% of the population has it. And so therefore, 0.992 would not have it. Okay, so there's the first part. All right, then we're going to go in and we're going to give a test. And either the test can come back positive or negative. Now they tell us if a woman has breast cancer, she'd test positive 90% of the time. Therefore, if a woman has breast cancer, you test negative 10% of the time. And just thinking about this logically, this is probably a pretty bad one. You have breast cancer, you test negative. So this is, would be one when you design a study that you'd want to minimize as much as possible. All right, if you don't have breast cancer, you test positive 7% of the time. And we, then you test negative 93% of the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply these all out like we do with our regular uh, tree diagrams. So when we do this, this would be 0 0.0072. This would be 0 0.0008. Uh, and these ones, I gotta use my calculator, are 0.992 times 0 0.0097, uh, 0.0694, 0.944. And this last one is, okay, 0.92256. Okay, so just make sure you understand what these probabilities are talking about. Each of these probabilities, this is the probability that a woman has breast cancer and tests positive. This would be has it and tests negative. So if you understand what, when we talk about and, our formula here is we're multiplying straight across. When we and, we're multiplying. If it was an or problem, that's when we really want to try to add there. Okay, so the question that we ask ourselves, is given that a person tests positive, what's the probability that they actually have breast cancer? So let's look at what our formula is for this. Using our formula sheet, okay, we see that this is equal to, and, and again, this isn't hidden, this is right on your formula sheet, so anytime you have this, you're not sure what to do, write the formula down. So this, you have breast cancer, and you test positive, divided by the probability that you test positive. Okay, so let's look at these values and see what they give us. All right, have breast cancer and test positive. Breast cancer and test positive is 0 0.0072. Divided by the probability that you test positive. Now look, I can test positive two spots, here or here. Now notice I said or. When we talk about or, we're gonna add those two probabilities together, okay? How can I simply add them without subtracting? Well, do you agree that these would be mutually exclusive values? Either you have breast cancer or you don't. There's no sort of having. Either you got it or you don't. So these are mutually exclusive, so I can add those values together. Okay, and we calculate that out, and that's going to give us our answer, which is 0 0.072 divided by... Point oh nine three nine, And so take a look at what that value means. There's only a 9% chance if you actually tested positive that you'd have breast cancer, which is very surprising when you look at this test. But where that comes from really is the, the population you can see. There's so few people that actually have it, so many people that don't have it, and that's really where that's coming from. But we've reversed the condition, what's called Bayes' rule, and it makes it a little bit easier to look at.